Hello YouTube, welcome from Tech and Dude. In the previous tutorial, I shown that how can you use source code sharing by GitHub online repository service. But the problem was that you cannot create a private repository by free of cost. To solve this problem, I'd like to introduce Bitbucket as an online hosting repository. Some of the advantages of Bitbucket over GitHub is you can create unlimited private repository unlike GitHub. So in this tutorial, I'd like to show how can you work with Bitbucket online repository with source controlling system. For this tutorial, we need following assets. Bitbucket as an online repository service. Git for source version controlling. Visual Studio Code for source code editor. Source Tree, a Git graphical user interface that offer a visual representation of your repositories. First, I'd like to install and configure those system and rest of the section, I will show an animated overview and how Bitbucket, Git, Visual Studio Code Editor and Source Tree is interact with each other to source code sharing in an online repository. So let's start it on by on. Bitbucket is a web-based version control repository hosting service owned by Atlassian. Bitbucket offers both commercial plan and free accounts. It offers free accounts with unlimited number of private repository for up to 5 users. Bitbucket integrated with Atlassian software like Jira, Hipchat, and so on. Bitbucket gives teams on place to plan project, collaborate on code, test and deploy. You can sign up Bitbucket account from bitbucket.org. After complete sign up, you can log in your Bitbucket account. And this is the Bitbucket account dashboard. You can see your work, number of repository from the left side menu bar of the Bitbucket account. Try to explore different options from your Bitbucket account. For source code and development project, Bitbucket use either Mercurial or Git for version control system. In this tutorial, I'd like to use Git. Git is a free and open source distributed version control system designed to handle everything from a small to very large project with speed and efficiency. You can download Git 32 or 64 bit Windows setup by the git-stm.com After download, you can follow the necessary step to complete the Git Windows installation. After complete the installation, you can open the git bash, here you can write commands for necessary action. Now you need to git configure through your email and username. First command is git config hyphen global user dot email and here is your email address. And the second command is git config hyphen global user.name and here is your Bitbucket username. As a code editor, I'll use Visual Studio Code. Take advantages of Visual Studio Code editor is a lightweight, fast, cross-platform code editor that you can use to build your application for web or the cloud system. Visual Studio Code editor has support for Git. So, you can work with the source control without leaving the editor including viewing painting changes differ. 
you can download visual studio code editor from the code.visualstudio.com after completing the download run the installation file and it could take a few time to complete the installation process After completing the installation, open the Visual Studio Code Editor and this is the welcome window for the Visual Studio Code Editor. If you are working with the Git in development, then you have probably seen a lot of command lines. While using the command lines, it is a simple and effective way of working. There are some much better tools out there to making working with the Git easy. On such tool is SourceTree, which is a free Git client for Windows and Mac OS. It provides a nice visual interface between you and Git, and no more command line. SourceTree simplifies how you can interact with your Git repository, so you can focus on the coding. Visualizing and manage your repository through source tree simple git graphical user interface. You can download source tree windows installation from sourcetreeapp.com. After completing the download, run it to install. In the first step, you must be agree the license agreement to keep continue. Here, you need to choose register account to use source tree. You should be use Atlassian account that you created earlier for Bitbucket sign up. Enter the email address and password for Atlassian account. After complete the registration with source tree, you need to pick a tool for version controlling. As I have already installed git earlier, so we have seen that the git install path. If you would like to install the Mercurial as a version controlling tool, then check it and click the next. Or else you can skip this step. Complete the tools installation and click next. If you would like to install global ignore file, then click yes or else click no after completing the source tree installation click remote from the top bar navigation now you need to add an account to associate with the source tree click the add account and edit the hosting account from the hosting service drop down select bitbucket make sure that you are already logged in bitbucket account in your web browser Now click the Refresh OAuth token button. Then it will be authentication successfully with your Bitbucket account. After authentication complete, click OK button. Now your Bitbucket repository will be added with the source tree. In here, number of repository is shown that is exist in my Bitbucket repository. To clone any repository, click the clone button. Here, you need to authenticate using Bitbucket account, username and password. First box is shown the online repository URL for the project. Second field is denote where you would like to save the Git repository to your local machine. Now click the clone button. It will take some time to clone the repository to your local machine. After complete successfully, click the close button. Here you can see the complete history for the repository. On click the pull button on the toolbar, it will pull chains from remote to local repository on source tree. Click on the commit button on the toolbar, it will commit all stages changes to the repository. 
click the push button on the toolbar it will push its changes to your remote repository now bit bucket kit visual studio code editor and source tree is ready to do a practical work here you can create an online repository and work with it to clone the repository commit push and pull operation on it here i'd like to present animated overview how you can work with bitbucket source tree git and visual studio code editor for online repository first you need to open your bitbucket account and create a new repository Now, time to clone the repository from Bitbucket to local machine folder through source tree. Click the clone button in the source tree. Then Bitbucket repository will be cloned in the local machine folder. After done this, open the local machine folder. Open this project folder using Visual Studio Code. You can create or modify any file. And all of the changes will be controlled by the version control system Git. Create a new file using Visual Studio Code Editor. Now I'd like to put also in the Bitbucket online repository rather than local repository. To do this, commit the source code using Visual Studio Code Editor. Then, onchange has been made in the source tree. Now, push the source code from source tree. Then, this source code will be saving in the Bitbucket repository. In this way, you can preserve your source code Bitbucket online repository. This is a very short tutorial for Git beginner. Hope you enjoy. And next time, I'll show you the practical example for how you can clone or push the Bitbucket online repository into your local machine. Also the process of commit and push the source code from local repository to Bitbucket online repository through source tree. Stay with us to get more awesome web developing tutorial and have fun.